Allowing the fear of death to ruin the present moment is the true adversary. I'm William Wan, author of The Everyday Stoic, Simple Rules for a Good Life. My mission is to teach practical stoicism to help you improve your life, build your character, and become the best version of yourself. Whether you're new to this journey or have been with me for a while, welcome back. Today, I'm going to share 7 Stoic Secrets to Cure Procrastination. If you're watching this, it's probably because you're interested in Stoicism or want to become more productive and end procrastination once and for all. Stoicism has been the cornerstone of my productivity and the cure for my procrastination. Even the most disciplined among us, like David Goggins or Jocko Willink, experience moments of procrastination. These seven Stoic secrets are designed to catch you when you fall, helping you get back on track quickly and efficiently. The Stoics themselves, particularly Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus, lived by these principles. Marcus Aurelius, the last great emperor of Rome, led the empire through challenging times and remained productive despite suffering great personal losses and enduring a difficult life. He recorded these secrets in his diary, which have stood the test of time. Some insights also come from Seneca and Zeno of Sidium, the founder of Stoicism. Let's dive into these powerful Stoic techniques. 1. Have a name. The first secret to productivity is simple, have a name. Marcus Aurelius wrote, if we don't have a name, we will wander around aimlessly. The early Stoics emphasized living with virtue as the ultimate aim. However, the later Stoics, including Marcus, also stressed the importance of being productive and good citizens. Each morning, write down three goals that, if accomplished, would make your day feel successful. These goals don't have to be grand they just need to be meaningful to you. By having a clear aim, you set the tone for your day, week, month, and year. This practice keeps you focused and ensures that you're always moving in the right direction. 2. The Dichotomy of Control The second secret is understanding the dichotomy of control, a concept taught by Epictetus. He taught that some things are within our control, such as our opinions, motivations, desires, and aversions, while others are not, like our health, wealth, reputation, and external events. This might seem defeatist, but it's empowering. By focusing only on what we can control our inner world we can channel our energy more effectively. Instead of worrying about external factors, we can direct our efforts towards our aims, making us more productive and less stressed. 3. Reflection The third secret is reflection. The Stoics, drawing from Pythagoras, believed in the importance of daily reflection. At the end of each day, reflect on your actions, did you use your time wisely? Could you have done better? Reflection isn't just for the end of the day. If you find yourself about to procrastinate, take a moment to reflect, will I be happy with how I spent my time? If the answer is no, stop and get back on track. This simple act of reflection can prevent you from falling into the trap of procrastination and ensure continuous improvement. 4. Contemplate the Mentor The fourth secret is to contemplate the mentor. Think of someone you admire, someone productive and disciplined, like David Goggins or Ian Fleming. When you're tempted to procrastinate, ask yourself, what would they do in this situation? Ian Fleming, for instance, wrote all the James Bond novels by writing just three hours a day. He balanced his work with a fulfilling life, showing that productivity doesn't require endless hours of work it requires focused, intentional effort. 5. Less is more. The fifth secret is understanding that less is more. Bruce Lee famously taught this concept, and it's central to stoic productivity. Success isn't about doing more it's about doing what's essential. Start by eliminating the inessential from your life. 
Focus on your main aim and discard distractions. When you streamline your efforts, your mind becomes quieter, and you can focus on what truly matters. This principle was exemplified by Ian Fleming, who focused solely on writing his novels without getting sidetracked by other pursuits. 6. Be present. The sixth secret is to be present. This ties back to the dichotomy of control. We often waste energy worrying about the future or dwelling on the past both of which are beyond our control. The only thing that truly exists is the present moment. By focusing on the present, you can quiet the noise of your mind and stay on track. Remember, the past is unchangeable, and the future is just a concept. What you do now is what truly matters. 7. Memento Mori The final and most powerful secret is Memento Mori remembering that you will die. The Stoics believed that overcoming the fear of death was the key to living a fulfilling life. By remembering that life is finite, you can focus on what's truly important. Every moment becomes precious when you acknowledge that one day it will end. I use a Memento Mori calendar, filling in a square each week to remind myself of the passing time. It's a powerful way to keep your priorities in check and live each day to the fullest.